bring back the mirror vibe. If everything is dipped in gold, then baby it will never grow. Everything sweet ain't sugar coated. Hello, hello. I feel like I need to be like, welcome to the red room. Mm, ew. Okay, welcoming love month. We are going to be doing a pick a card reading today on the topic of how would they express romantic interest in you? They in this scenario is either the person on your mind or the person that is bound to come into your life next, okay? Let's go ahead and catch the vibe and find out how are they going to express romantic interest. So I'm going to pick from our keyword bag and this is going to determine our groups. All right, group number one is represented by the word Delight. Delight. Group number one. Group number two's keyword. Group number two. Service. And group number three. Your keyword is gratitude. Let us know in the comment section down below if you resonate with delight, service, or gratitude. And yes, there is an extra special Talian message at the very end, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But also, if you want to tap into the hot and spicy portion of this reading, that is going to have to be over on Patreon because we are going to be using some fun cards that I don't need YouTube to try to flag me for. And we're just going to be talking about some 18 plus sexy stuff, okay? Because it is motherfucking love month and we're going to enjoy it. So, delight, service, gratitude. We're going to do a part one here. But over on Patreon will be part two, where we get a little bit sexy, savage, and sweet with it, okay? Okay. Let's go ahead and get it shapopping, shall we? Group number one. Let's go ahead and find out if you resonate with the term delight as your keyword let's go ahead and get into your reading and let's find out how they would express romantic interest in you okay those that select group number one delight how would the person on their mind or the person that's coming into their love life next how will they express romantic interest okay so immediately i'm there's something here about a big smile, okay? So either they have a really big smile and this will be something that stands out to you or they will try to make you smile or they will naturally make you smile. How will group number one delight, how will their person express romantic interest? Yeah, this person will definitely be smiling a lot. Um, and being attentive, paying attention to you um, if there's like a group or a room of people, like their eyes are going to be on you when they're talking to you and smiling. Okay. We have Virgo coming out here. And for some reason, this Virgo energy is coming through is almost like a, the, it's like a fixated Virgo energy. It's giving Virgo Scorpio vibes. Let's see. Virgo Scorpio vibes here this person would be extremely fixated on you they would they would not be shy about making eye contact with you okay this person is not shy about making eye contact they might not say too much but they are going to make eye contact and it's going to be intense you're going to be like yo like did that that like what did that eye contact just mean like 
you like you're like over here you're self-conscious you're like what like what was that okay this this person has a scorpionic approach um very scorpionic approach to this this person they are not afraid of intense stare downs oh my gosh but it's kind of like it's like i'm like oh my gosh like stop looking at me but don't stop looking at me but stop but don't stop oh the card just fell yeah uh -huh. we got goddess that just fell okay and with goddess falling out here this leads me to believe that this is um someone who flirts through worship compliments adoration okay things of that nature Ooh, this person group number one they're gonna make they're gonna be kind of intimidating but group number one you are open to that you are receptive to that yeah Ooh. okay so this person's going to bring out a whole different side of you this reading is already getting like 18 plus e and we're just we're just in the intro like like you be like oh like i never wanted to do this or i never felt like this before or i never i never wanted to do this like oh it's like oh i love this new feeling okay so it's giving like a virgin okay like a virgin touch for the very first time like a virgin madonna okay um also while I was singing that, I'm looking at this here. That's why there's this this intense stare down moment because this person is looking at you and they're like, like, am I really about to come into this person's world and just like wreck Yosh? Like, this is someone who's like, I they are looking at you with this intense powerful stare and i think that this person can honestly kind of see through you a bit this person sees straight through to some sort of like innocence or um some sort of what is that word what is dexterity there's something about a degree of dexterity define dexterity define dexterity is that like mobility skill in performing tasks especially with the hands okay 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 so this person this person could also be looking at your hands very intensely they could be trying to figure out if you uh, have a ring on your finger that if this person stares it's because they're looking for clues or details about you like your marital status um your your nail options and what you choose to go with the jewelry that you wear um they they look at details hence virgo they even pay attention to like the way that you tie your shoelaces almost okay it doesn't have to be that extreme, but it, it's giving that. Like this person notices details that a lot of people don't notice. We have Samaritan. Okay. How would this person express romantic interest in my group number ones? Bottom of the deck, we have father. Okay. So with Mars and father at the bottom of the deck, this person how they express romantic interest is extremely straightforward they're just going to stare at you um, and see how you receive or perceive their their gaze or their look um this helps them to gauge if you're interested and also helps them to gauge your a bit of your personality and your level of confidence and uh, again i think that that's where they see that innocence uh pop in okay through this this stare down this gazing or whatever um how this person express romantic interest 
And if you seem a bit receptive to the stare down, then they know that, the, okay, like, okay, they didn't like run away screaming. They didn't like complain. So they're like, okay, okay, okay. So then they'll make a, some sort of a, a move uh, to assist you or help you. Like they would be the first to jump on, um, like being able to help you with something. Like if you had a lot of bags in your hand, they would be the first one. Look at that as I'm shuffling the cards, the Knight of Swords, they would be the first one there to help you. Like they would be right there. Okay, yeah, we have the Empress. Um, split the deck king of cups like at your every beck and call kind of thing so this person would express express romantic interest by um acts of service uh like oh like let me get the door for you let me hold this bag for you let me let me move that for you this person loves the way that you move but they don't want you to move a finger they don't want you to lift a finger at the same time okay I'm talking to a masculine this is uh the perspective from the masculine perspective so let's see here no matter who is in the connection there's always a masculine and a feminine energy the moon reverse yeah, it would be no secret, honey. This part, it would be no secret. We have the Ten of Swords at the bottom. Of the no secret. They might even tell you that they want to be daddy, papa, mommy, baby. They'll tell you. They will let you know. It will be no secret. This just has like Scorpionic energy written all over it even though there's no Scorpio here even this moon card like the moon is traditionally Cancerian um Piscean vibes no right now Scorpio energy written all over this moon in the reverse like this, there is no secret this person wears their secrets on their sleeves essentially like this person cannot hide when they are interested in something or when they like something or when they don't like something um, this is a very honest and straightforward person as well um, how would they express romantic interest they would tell you straight up what they want what they don't want um, what they expect or what they want to talk about or this person is very hands-on and this person does not shy away from showing intense interest. Like this person may not like shower you with like ooey gooey love songs and stories, but you won't need it with just the way that this person like looks at you, kind of like directs you. Like they might put their hand around your arm or your shoulder or something, the way that they like move you through life or the way that they kind of like guide protect or stand by your side here <clears throat> it, it this person doesn't need to be extra it, when it comes to like words of affirmation like no matter what your love language is this person's intensity alone and fixation essentially on you when they express romantic interest would make it very clear that this is this is what it is like this person has like all cards laid out This person would be also very open about secrets. You would essentially be this person's best friend. This is how they would express romantic interest. Like they would like to do a lot of things with you, not in like a clingy codependent way, but just, I like your company. Uh, we get along kind of way. This person, they don't find or fixate or... They don't find interest very often. So when they do, they're really interested. Yeah, this person is the type that like usually prefers to ignore people, avoid people, but not with you. And you'll know that that's how they express um, romantic interest. So right now we're going to go ahead and head on over to what I'm super excited to get into. Um, over on Patreon, the 18 plus, 18 plus version of this reading. So that'll be linked near the timestamp down below. I'll see you there if you're there. If not, I'll catch you next time. Ta-ta! 
group number two with service let's go ahead and find out darling how would either the person on your mind or the person that's bound to come into your love life next express romantic interest in you let's dive into it my group number two is with the word service how would the person on their mind or the person that's coming into their love life next express romantic interest Oh, wow. Okay, Capricorn. And with service, this person would, excuse me, be buying lavish gifts, um, expensive food, Mercury here. This person would even want to take you on trips. If mm, you got to put yourself where you where you Fit. if you are masculine uh, or feminine if you are the giver or the receiver or however that works um, but I'm just reading the energy here this is someone who would be big on giving giving gifts um, in whatever form uh, this person wouldn't talk much mm. yeah wow as I say that the hermit This person wouldn't talk much. We have Judge at the bottom of the deck. Uh, this person, when I say they wouldn't talk much, this person would not be controlling with the gifts or the power. This is someone who is a soft giver. Like there's no strings attached to these gifts whatsoever they genuinely give from their heart their soul their center they expect nothing in return how would this person express romantic interest in you how would group number two express romantic interest in you something about the eyes they might they might cry about you or to you or they might be vulnerable with you they might really open up to you. The world. Bottom of the deck, the fool. Yeah, so how would this person express romantic interest in you? It would be by either showing you something they never showed anyone else or like sharing something that they never shared with anyone else. Invite you to their home, show you their artwork. Or simply just sit in silence with you. For some, this is someone who would not express romantic interests, not because they're not interested, but because they have their own blockages, they have their own holdups. For some, they feel like um, there's too many people in the mix, like they might feel like there's a lot of competition. This is someone who has a lot to give. They could like when I was talking about like giving gifts, if they're not giving like tangible gifts, they could be giving a lot of compliments or giving a lot of assistance, giving a lot of help here. Um, but this is someone who is very quiet, very reserved. This is the type of person I don't think they would I don't think they would make it obvious. Like even with the gift giving, for some reason you or like the compliments or something you still or the attentiveness it wouldn't come across as extremely romantic because this person has this hermit energy and again there's something about this world and they just feel like you're like worlds away um it's a fantasy or for some, it would turn into like an infatuation. I'm not picking up on anything like scary or anything like that. But yeah, service, they would just want to help. So um, that would be the way that they would express romantic interest. But just because someone offers to like help you doesn't automatically make you think like, oh, they want to take me on a date. But for this person, that's what it means. Yeah. Um, 
this person is is definitely shy so if you came here inquiring about someone specific you're gonna have to make that first move honey and whether they accept or reject you have to know that it is what it is you know um but yeah because this person they're uh if they tell you it'll be like 12 years later bitch like <laughs> this could even be someone that you've like been friends with like for 10 to 20 years and they wouldn't tell you until like the 23rd year honey if they tell you then they might not even tell you on their deathbed okay um this is the type of person that would like probably blurt it out to you at your wedding like how inconvenient you're telling me that you're in love with me at my wedding to someone else that I'm marrying you know that's the vibe that I'm getting from this person okay so I'm intrigued to find out about this person's 18 plus side because I there's I don't know like I'm very curious to see what comes out here because now we're gonna get into it let's say that if they were to break down this wall and express interest okay so then how would they show sexual interest in you i'm very intrigued to find out about that so i'll see you over on patreon if you're tuned in for that and make sure you tune into the talian message at the very end let's get into this tea y'all group number three these readings are getting they're getting buck wild especially over on patreon because we are only doing the the clean version over here on youtube and then we're gonna take it to patreon for the rest because honey the messages are flowing the messages are flowing okay talk to me about my group number threes group number threes gratitude group number threes gratitude group how will the person on your mind or the person that's bound to come into your love life next, how will they express romantic interest in you? We have Aquarius. Okay, so they could be an Aquarius or they could have very Aquarian-like energy. But this person will express interest in a very quirky way. We have Taurus here at the bottom of the deck. They could um, give you like little trinkets or they could play like little tricks or little games here yeah victim as i said little tricks or little games okay bottom of the deck we have goddess here hmm. how will this person express romantic interest in my group number threes there's something here about like A humiliation ritual who's the one being humiliated knight of wands they okay so they would be the type to be like the class clown or they would be trying to show off for you The, the empress yes this person would literally act as like what is that a jester a, jo a jokester yes the, f the fool to the kingdom like literally king of pentacles and the emperor what this is so odd so peculiar to me right now like this person would either humiliate themselves harm themselves hurt themselves or make themselves a victim or do something to like make you laugh or get your attention this person's a show-off or they oh oh or like they would try to do something to impress you and it ends up hurting them later like they try to like lift something really heavy and like they make it look really cool in front of you but then later they are suffering they have back pain for days what else okay um how would this person express romantic interest specifically this person would want to um specifically escort you places like let me walk you here let me walk you there let me take you even if I, even if they're not going with you they want to 
they want to be your transportation. This person um, would express interest, romantic interest in you by wanting to know like when you get there, um, when you arrive, when you're dropped off. They want to know those times and things of that nature as well. They want to know when the package will be delivered. Like they're that person. Okay, so even if the first part doesn't resonate about them like humiliating themselves, it could even just be them like running around being like your 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 do person again like ma yeah making a fool out of themselves essentially like to show their gratitude for you this person has a heightened sense of uh confidence that allows them to not be embarrassed so easily so things that other people would never do for you or around you or for a relationship like this person does it without batting an eye um, this person believes in like no shame when it comes to expressing love. Yeah, this person is shameless in regards to expressing love to you. Um, it, see, I'm looking here. I'm over here talking about love already. And we're just supposed to be talking about romantic interest. Okay. This person would want to help you in whatever way like if you left your lunch they would want to be the one to bring the lunch they want to develop a sense of trust between you to where you rely on them just as much as you rely on yourself basically they want you to trust them just as much as you trust yourself like this person would want to become like a clone of you essentially like to serve you this is how they express their gratitude to you This is definitely giving like your majesty treatment with the empress at the bottom of the deck to the knight of wands. Like I will do whatever, go wherever I got, whatever I got to do. Just tell me what I got to do and I'll do that shit. That's how this person will express romantic interest in you. So I can't wait to see how Mr. or Mrs. Gratitude expresses sexual interest in you. I'm not even going to long talk. Let's hop into that tea over on Patreon. If you're not going to be there, I'll see you at the end for the Talian message. All right, so shout out to my Talians. Let's get a keyword for my Talians before we dive into these messages. Keyword for my Talians, partnership. Okay, what a word to get on a reading about someone expressing romantic interest. Interesting. Let's go ahead and see. I want this first message to be in regards to how will they express romantic interest in my Talians, okay? And then we're going to get into a random message that's meant to find my Talians at this time. So, okay, the moon. The moon. We have the sun. Wow. Okay. All right. How will they express romantic interest? This person knows how to work those emotions or something, honey. And when I say that, it, it, yes, it could be um, emotional manipulation in some cases, but it's not. No. But the thing is, is that this person will have a hold on you that no one ever has like this person will make you feel things you never felt so how they will express romantic interest is by projecting their love onto you how will they do this we have teacher here oh wow okay so we got us a a, a sweet talker um like the title would be like, you know what I want to do to you right now? Like, I can't even get into it because we're on the main, we're on the main channel. We have warrior here. This person will make you feel how they feel about you. Like this person will get you riled up. Why is this going sexual? Like, but it's not though. Okay, basically... 
this person will like say all these sweet things or like whisper sweet nothings or um, teach you all these things or develop some sort of, yeah, Ace of Cups, develop some sort of, wow, to the lovers. They would develop some sort of like connection or closeness to you, but not make any sudden moves. Six of Wands at the back of the deck. They'll wait until they can be confident. And then they'll make their move. We have the high priestess. Mm -hmm. This person wants to know if you can catch their vibe first. They want to teach you about their vibe. This is so interesting that this person's coming through, but literally how they would express romantic interest in you is by whispering sweet nothings to you about you from their perspective. Like, I just felt like you were a shooting star across my sky. Like, just that kind of thing. This person could be poetic. That could be why it feels like emotionally manipulative because it's pulling at the heartstrings as artistry is supposed to. It's also the way in which this person chooses to express these things that you take note of that I'm also picking up on here too. How this person will express romantic interest in you is by expressing the interest, telling you how exquisite you are. And it's something about you learning from them that turns you into a fan of them as well. This is extremely mutual. Let me tell you that, a partnership. This is extremely equal and mutual. Okay, honestly, I have to, y'all, I have to get into the 18 plus for the Talians. I didn't think I was going to do that, but I have to because I want to be nosy. So I'm going to go cut over to do that. And if you're going to check that out, I'll see you over there. But if not, you can stay tuned for when I cut to the very last message. But let's, let's get into this. See ya. Okay, so this is the final Talian message. I'm going to get another keyword. Final Talian message keyword. Forthrightness. Forthrightness. Isn't that like integrity, doing the right thing? Let's see. Define forthrightness. Quality of being honest or direct in a way in what you say or do forthrightness so uh clarity what's going on here what's going on here for my talians please mercury okay so some very honest communication is coming in here or you are very honest communication and a very honest communicator taurus at the bottom of the deck very practical communication is coming through what's this about from Italians, mystic, revels in intimate union with the divine. Okay, so you're gonna be getting a very clear and direct sign, symbol, or synchronicity from the universe here. Bottom of the deck, energy, child, eternal. Determination to remain young in body, mind, and spirit. Ability to see things with fresh eyes, yes. Um, you're going to be either changing your communication with spirit, what was that? The, yeah, the lovers. Or, there's a shift. Whether it's the change in communication um, between you and spirit or between you and someone else, there's there's a change. There's a shift here. I'm getting like Wheel of Fortune energy. I'm also seeing the Nine of Cups in my mind's eye. We have the Five of Wands. The energy is settling from something and something is becoming very clear. Something was muddled, unclear. We have the Two of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. Look at that. But clarity. Clarity comes in the form of this King of Pentacles energy. Security. Stability. Certainty. Back of the deck, Six of Swords. So something is coming with clarity. If it does not come with clarity, it is not the right thing. What's what's this what's the idea of this what's the big idea 
Queen of Wands. Three of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, stand on that. Stand on that business, please. Six of Wands. Okay. Okay, there's something coming through here. Something is going to be made very clear. Someone could have been trying to start trouble behind the scenes or cause or talk shiz about you. But now you're being celebrated with the Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Damn. And two, damn, Nine of Pentacles to the star. Someone was mighty wrong about you or extremely wrong about you. I'm picking up on um, someone could have thought that you were going to fail or that you um, would have fallen off or fallen out by now. Or something would have overtaken you. But whatever this is, it was causing some sort of a, some sort of discord that is dissipating. Where you feel like you were going from being mistreated or disliked, you're going to being uh, like you're going into this energy of like being uh, the favorite or being uh, put up on a pedestal in some way, shape or form. There's someone or people fighting for you. Yeah. Something about like unfair treatment is really standing out here. Let me get some more. Queen of Swords comes in sideways. Yeah, there's this energy here of someone or something or people speaking up for you. Exactly, King of Cups. Oops, excuse me. Something is done for you. Nine of Pentacles, Three of Wands. There's that Wheel of Fortune that I talked about at the back of the deck. There's a shift in the narrative and a change of concept as well that is bringing honesty, forthrightness, and clarity. This is also coming through here too is like people that just didn't want to like you or didn't want to admit something, but they just have to. Like something is, it, it it's clear, it's obvious, it's true. And it's like something like maybe you're better than what they thought or they like you more than what they thought. There's just something here of like, yeah, I hate to admit it, but this is honest, this is true. Like someone was hoping and praying and looking and seeking for something negative, but they're like, no, nah, like, this is the truth. That's what's coming. Ta-ta.